people are here now okay hey hi hello hello hey guys hi oh I changed the stream title I did it was I changed it to to henlo can you change it to hello for me please just just plain old hello nothing special I don't want it to be a special stream I just want it to be a a basic old Hey guys, we're gonna get we're gonna get some updates today. We're gonna get some mad updates. <laughs> you look sicko today. I, I don't know if that means I look sick or if that means I look actually pog swag. Cause that would be that could be a compliment actually. Hi semicolon! I like your shirt, thank you. It's uh it's just a sweater that I've had for ever actually. Um yeah, it was a pretty comfy day. I'm really tired. I've been actually so exhausted today. Maybe I should say hi to everyone. I feel like on phone streams, I don't really do that as much. I'm sorry. Beans, who is that? Who are you? Do I know you? Hi. Hi, Kayong. Hi, Vlad. Hi, Ravens. Hi, Ryans. Hi, Evil Toast. Hi, Koniaks. Hi, Him Himada Wicker. Hi, Firebird. Hi, Elias. Hi, Manuel Versa. Hi, Morris. Hi, Ro Patriarchal. Pa Patri Patri oh my gosh, I know how to say your name. I've said it so many times before. Hi, Sawyer. Hi, Name. Suzer One. Hi, Game Bear Samurai. Hi, S Man. Hi, Dookie Doo. Hi, the guys. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, T T T T. Um, God. Um, hi, Dom K O. Hi, Ra. I already said hi to you, Ryan. So I'm pretty sure. Hi, Chaz. Hello. Hi, Foster. Hey, guys. Hey, Kayong. I feel like I saw Jelsu too, so hey, Jelsu. Hey, guys. Are you going to say hi 64 times? I guess so. Um, I try my best. Hi, hi, hi. For those of you I didn't say hi to. Hi, Greeno. Um, so, um, today, this week, for those of you who don't know, I, um, I moved out of the house that I was in this week. Um, and it was really rough <laughs> because I used to live in a house with housemates. Um, I lived in a house with housemates and three of them were guys. I wasn't very close friends with them. My best friend at the time lived with me, but um, you guys know him, it's Alex. He's the Discord's boyfriend because all of you literally simp over him. Um, so he used to live there with me upstairs and I was downstairs, so it made it a lot more bearable, but then he left and my housemates are just completely disrespectful, disrespectful towards me. Um, it was unsafe for me to live where I was living. Like I was, they were, they were literally bringing grown men I've never met before in my house at like 2 AM right outside my door, like high off of random kinds of drugs hypothetically we're for for legal purposes this is all hypothetical but um 
yeah and like i don't do any of that i didn't like that i didn't they would leave the garage door open somebody could easily sneak into the house it was just not good so um unfortunately i tried to find somebody to move into my room i couldn't find anyone that i knew personally they couldn't find anyone they knew personally so i offered to find someone off facebook marketplace or craigslist because that's the only other thing i can do because there was no way i was living there longer they refused to let somebody from those come in so now um i want to leave the lease i wanted to leave the lease and they wouldn't let me put anyone on to replace it so talking with the landlord my landlord let me leave um my landlord let me leave um the lease if they weren't letting me replace it with anyone um and um so that's what happened i paid them this month's rent um i paid them next month's rent too just because like i just felt bad like honestly i felt bad because i know that that's like a a trashy thing for like anyone to go through is like oh well now we have because they're they're liable to pay the rest of my rent that i'm not paying because i'm not living in that place because they would not respect me they would not be they would not make it a safe place for me to live they would not stop smoking um hypothetically smoking the, the devil's lettuce they would not stop like they were just doing things that were not cool and then they wouldn't let me replace my room with anyone that they didn't know per purposefully gotta learn <laughs> yeah I've, I've thought about learning self-defense but it just has i just haven't gotten there yet um so it got to that point and so my landlord let me leave um but that means that my housemates had to, oh my gosh, Elias. Thank you, Elias, thank you so much. Buy guns. I'm actually, I don't know, I won't talk about this too much for you guys. I do live in Texas and because everyone else has a gun um, and I'm a female, I, I think it's just for like, and I'm gonna be living. Chaz, thank you so much. Thank you guys, thank you Chaz and Elias. Mwah. Um, I'm probably going to get a gun for myself because um, I'm 21, so I am legal to carry, um, and I know how to carry. I grew up around guns my whole life, um, but yeah, only for safety reasons. Thank you, Sonic, for so spuds. Thank you so much. Mwah. Yeah, um, I think I, like, my friggin', you guys know that I don't have the greatest influence of a father, but my dad got me a BB gun when I was six years old and he got me my first real gun, um, which I, I don't have now because I don't talk to my dad anymore, but he got me my first real gun when I was seven years old. I started shooting shotguns at seven years old. <laughs> That's the childhood I had. <laughs> but um, that was a, uh... anyways, so long story short, I'm moving. Oh my gosh, crazy, right? <laughs> Um, but whenever I was moving out, like, I don't, guys, this week has been so tough. Because of the whole situation going on, my housemates did not take it well at all. They were not very mature about it. They were so mean. Hi, perp. Um, oh, thank you so much, Jazz. Mwah, thank you, guys. Um, but they, they were just literally so mean to me, guys. Like, and I'm saying it really nicely, like, like we sat down to talk to them like Alex even came with me even though he wasn't a part of the situation and we sat down to talk to my housemates about the whole situation and like how it's gonna go down and the reason why things are happening and um you know how like this is the best option we could do for all of us and stuff and I just got like whenever Alex tried to talk for me because I'm not very good at articulating my words and grown men like because these guys are much older than me they're, they're like 27 and I'm 21 and they're men and they're raising their voice at me I'm not very good at talking in those situations especially considering my past and so Alex was helping me by talking for me and then they would just like be like shut up I want to hear her talk why isn't she talking and then they would start cursing me out <sighs> And then I, like, had a freaking panic attack, so I had to, like, go to the other room while Alex talked with them. And then I came back after finally calming myself down, and then they just, like, continued. I don't know. It was just it was not a fun situation at all. I had to move my stuff out within the past three days. 
all of my things had to go in three days i'm so blessed that i have the friend group that i did um i had if like literally three months ago i wouldn't have this friend group and now like we're just i just like wow i'm so blessed and they all came together and helped me out um so much like they helped oh my gosh i'm gonna cry and then like you guys with like just the support you guys have given me people literally reaching out to me and asking me how I'm doing and like being there for me whenever I like want to like talk about it like it's been really hard um yeah like like that was the, like I know it sounds like I might be over exaggerating but like when my friends were there they literally like heard it firsthand and they were like this is not okay like yeah, and just, like, doing all of that, like, physically and mentally so draining, because I'm, like, I'm, like, I was actually, like, so scared, and then, like, now I'm, like, I don't have my own space, because I'm staying at Alex's parents' house, and Alex and his brother live here, and there's not an extra room for me to stay in, so I'm just staying on a mattress on the floor in Alex's room, and so, like, and he has work in the morning, so I have to wake up at 9.30 every morning, no matter how late I go to bed. And then I, like, I just, every morning when I wake up, I'm go, 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 because there's so much to get done and so much to do. And, like, I just need to find a house so I can move into it. But I, I can't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to be, like, too quick to decide on one. And then Sydney, my, you guys know her. She's freaking amazing. She's the person I'm going to move in the house with has been driving like 30 minutes all the way here just to like come get me and we go look at houses for the past week um it, on top of all of this so we're like moving things out of my house into a storage unit uh heavy things too like a lot of things we're packing things moving things in, in and out of storage unit looking at houses getting my stuff situated here at alex's house trying to still post on social media at the same time trying to still like reply to people trying to still like not getting that much sleep because I'm not used to waking up at 9.30. You guys know that I have, like, the most messed up sleep schedule. So, like, I'm feeling, like, really tired. I haven't, like, I, the past two days, like, today was the most I had really, like, eaten, like, good food in a while. So, I wasn't eating well. I wasn't sleeping well. I was surrounded by so many stressful things and situations. I was mentally drained. I was physically drained. Um, people were yelling at me people were helping me but also like I was also like people would be like Hannah where do I do where do I put this what do I do how do I do this I'm like I don't know I don't know what I'm doing um so it's just it's been um it's been it's been so much I'm like sweating just talking about it thank you for the stretch I'm sorry guys I'm streaming on my phone right now so it's not the most interactive for you guys but you need to take a second to just chill Hannah out bro guitar I literally wish I could so bad but I think tomorrow will be the first day I get like a little moment to myself to chill um because an another really great thing but also kind of stressful thing we think we found a house that we really like um and we applied for it um we're not like buying a house or renting and the reason we're going for a house is because it's actually a lot safer than an apartment because it's two girls in a house so and it ends up actually being a lot cheaper and a lot nicer and because like streaming can get loud that way i don't have to worry about noise complaints anyways long story short we're going for a, we're renting a house so we applied for one um hopefully the credit score is good i had to like get my bank statements all in order like the most adulting i have ever done in my life has been this past week um like i'm going to the bank to get my bank statements i'm talking to my banker to make sure it looks the best i'm talking to a realtor to make sure things are organized and good sydney being like the most bomb person ever she's literally so freaking amazing she's stepping up to the plate this whole time for me um like you know we're making sure like credit looks good we're making sure like okay do you guys do a soft credit check or a hard credit check what does this look like things that i didn't really ever learn about growing up so I'm just like I'm so overwhelmed but also excited at the same time um but yeah so we applied to a place which is super exciting um and hopefully we get it we don't know we have somebody else who applied to the place like that's kind of why we applied soon too because this we like we first saw it and we were like mm, I don't know we were like really judgy but like 
I fell asleep, like we both fell asleep that night and we woke up the next day and it's been on our minds all week. We just can't get that house out of our head. So we're really hoping we get it. Um, and like, bro, it comes with a washer and dryer setup. It comes with a fridge. Like we don't have to buy those things separately. We don't have to like rent anything. So like, that's super awesome. It has a yard cause, um, and the pet deposit's really small for a house and it's, there's like, very little carpet and um we're I'm gonna get custom carpet in the in my I'm gonna get like carpet for the area that I need it in um with the money that we're saving and so like if we get this house it's like it works it's so good um other the only like downside to this house is it's kind of far from like, you know how, like, you can be in the city, but if you take, but there's, like, those, like, somewhat country roads where it takes, like, 10 minutes to get to wherever the nearest grocery store is, which I know is, like, so spoiled of me to even say that that's, like, an issue, but, um, the only downside is it's, like, a 10-minute drive to, like, grocery stores and gyms and stuff like that, um, but other than that, it's really exciting and super fun, um, and, um, so like the only downside is like until I get a car I will be just in the house the whole time because there's really nothing nothing I can walk to um but hopefully like after a couple months of settling in I can look at my financials and see if a car is something that's in my favor you know so um and I think hopefully I will, because I have some saved aside, especially because of you guys. Thank you so much for the for the sub. Mwah. But especially because you guys are here and you guys are so freaking amazing, I think I will be able to um, get a car. Um, hopefully, like two months after moving in. So like, it, that's that's my estimate. I could be very wrong, but um, it's because I have like some savings set aside from you guys being like the literal most nicest angels on earth I have ever met um like I, I don't think you guys understand how much people being nice means to me like we were having such a stressful day Hannah Cheesy Devil said before that also if you can get an Amex business card or other bank business card under LLC like you're streaming so that's your business credit not your personal yes I agree I haven't started my LLC yet more adulting things that I'm actually s like I'm so overwhelmed guys there's so much to think about like doing social media full-time it's fun and I love it and I'm not complaining at all like I am so blessed that I get to do this and that I get to have you guys here like what the heck but at the same time it's literally so overwhelming with everything else going on in my life right now because now I have to be the boss of everything and make it all happen and if it wasn't for the people if it wasn't for you guys and the, and Alex and my friends like my the people surrounding me like I would be if it wasn't for Jesus I because I'm Christian for those of you who don't know I don't really, like I don't try to push it down you guys throats but like I am and so like if it wasn't for all of that I would literally be like I would be like drowning right now it's crazy I wouldn't be able to be where I am now um but like uh, I'm really hoping this house, because if this house does go through too, like if it goes through, I, I made the mistake of like Alex as a Christmas present is taking us on, a, me and like th him and two other friends were going on a cruise for a week, which is like crazy. Like that's, I've never gone on a vacation that was that, that was like expensive and like went out of the country. Like this is probably one of my first vacations. I've never gone on vacation with a friend before. So this is like really cool to me. But at the same time, I'm like still stressing about everything else going on. So I'm like, oh no, cause I didn't realize it was all gonna be happening so fast. Um, so next, I have this next week, but on the seventh I'm leaving um, for a cruise. And then for a week I'll be like gone. And so next week, like, if we get approved, we'll know if we get approved tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know, like, on Instagram or something. But we'll know tomorrow. It's going to be so sad if that's not the case. I'm actually going to cry. Um, but uh, if we do get approved, then we can start moving in next week, which is, like, a whole nother thing as now we're moving in and then we have to buy furniture and then we have to get a rug that suits the place and then we have to, like, find a couch and then we have to, like have all the hands to like go from my storage because Sydney and I have different storage units on like hers is 
like an hour away that way and mine is over here so like we're gonna have to like get it all there and it's just gonna be another thing of stress um but like also at the same time and it's also gonna be really expensive because we're gonna put our deposit down and um the application fees was already like a hundred bucks um and like all that fun stuff so it's just like and then we're gonna fight all the things and like set up our internet set up our wi-fi um i think we're gonna take on the utilities that our landlord already was using but we want to look at it first just all these adult things that I never thought I would be ready for ever and I still don't feel quite ready for and it's <sighs> but yeah <laughs> I just saw your text oh my gosh okay I'll I'll shut up about that part but yeah it's very much it's very Thank you so much, chat. Thank you. Mwah. All I can say is don't stress too much. I, bro, I'm trying. I'm trying because I'm like having to do. I love this. I miss you guys so much. I miss you guys so, so, so much. I just want to be able to like sit down at a computer and stream and play games with my friends and like be on Discord voice call with you guys and like play games with you guys all day and just like. Like, honestly, like, I've never been more excited for a 48-hour stream in my life. I really can't wait till I move in and I get that 48-hour stream going because I miss it so bad because right now I'm so absolutely overwhelmed that, like, sitting down to stream just isn't even enjoyable. Like, I love you guys, don't get me wrong, but I'm, like, but I'm, like, I have so many other things to do or I could go to sleep early, like... I want to, but at the same time, I do want to stream and I want to be with you guys and I can't just not stream for a month. Um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> I miss Hannah on Overwatch. I miss me on Overwatch too. I want to play Overwatch so bad, guys. That's a legal pro streamer. Dude, Chris, the thing is, I have to wake up early now. Like, I don't get a choice. And this household that I'm staying at, in the meantime, there is nowhere I can sleep here where I won't be woken up past 9.30 a.m. Which isn't that early, but it's early enough that my body, if I go to bed, like, if I don't go to bed at, like, freaking 10 p.m. or 10.30, I'll just be awake. Or, like, I'll just be, like, so tired the rest of the day because... I know that's a lot of time to sleep, that's like 10, that's 11 hours of sleep, but my, my, because I'm so stressed and I haven't been eating super well and there's so much going on, I feel like my body needs that much sleep right now. It needs so much more sleep than it usually would. So, if, if I don't stream for a minute, don't worry. Don't worry, oh, oh Shalash, I, I, I definitely will be streaming with you guys this upcoming month. I just, there's also so many things with the Discord that I've been meaning to, like, get done, and so many things with Patreon I need to get done, and I'm just so behind on everything, and there's just so much going on, and I'm just... Uh, hi, Jail Sue. I'm just, I feel like I'm having, like, a freaking mental breakdown every day. Today I'm doing a lot better than I was the past couple days. Like, it feels a lot better, but, like, the past couple days were, like, I, I was on the verge, like, I cried so much the past couple days, and they weren't happy tears. <laughs> they were, they were, I'm over, I'm in over my head tears. They were, like, I mean, like, whenever my housemates were, like, grown men yelling at me, they were, like, Trauma, traumatic triggered tears like bro I don't know man I'm just I'm so happy I'm out of that house at the like and I have the people surrounding me that I do like that and I have you guys like you guys are so amazing I love you guys so much and we all love your efforts and how amazing you are you're doing amazing thank you thank you <laughs> I'm her now. 
<laughs> what are you what are you up to jail sue i know did you get the job offer or like did you are you starting the job yet when's your start date i forget yeah anything we can do to help um oh thanks for the hydrate i mean like if you guys can just keep supporting me <laughs> that's really it that's all i can ask for right now is just all the support i can get all the all the the happy words and all of the, the, and just like not getting bored of me during this month and not forgetting about me during this month. That's all I can ask for. So <laughs> I'm going to read some of your messages. So I might be a bit behind because I, I want to, some of you guys wrote some long things that I want to read. Oh, yeah, I need to do the hydrate. Give me a second. I've been gone all week. I didn't even know you moved out. Well, I moved out, but I still got to move in somewhere. That's the issue. <laughs> and the place where I'm staying now, as much as I love Alex and Alex's family, because um, Alex is like a brother to me. Those of you who have been here for a while, you guys know that. Um, and his family like kind of treats me a little bit like family because I don't have a family. Um, but living here, like... It's just not it for me. Like, I don't get sleep. I don't get good sleep. I don't get my own space. Like, there's not a place in this house I can go to be alone. Like, genuinely. Where somebody can't just walk in on me. And, like, I just... I don't know. So, it's just been rough in that sense. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm still super grateful. And Alex also is, like, sacrificing his alone time and alone space for me. And helped me so much during the move. So, like, I'm not taking away from that at all. I'm just talking about my personal issues <laughs> wait this means you can finally play apex yes whenever i'm at my new new place i will i will finally be able to play all the games and hopefully once i figure out internet it should be like a a1 internet service that i don't have to worry about because the max amount of people who will be on my internet unless we have a lot unless we invite a lot of people over is going to be two so that's awesome um I'm proud of you. Thank you, Akron. Renting is a pain, but doesn't involve as much work as buying. So just one thing at a time. That's true. I don't want to buy a house anytime soon. Especially if I'm, like, in over my head this much from renting. Hey, it's almost the end of the year. Just focus on the goals you finna create next year. New crib, new life. Hey, yo. Oh my gosh, MTV, welcome to the crib. I can show you guys the inside. I, I won't show you guys the outside of, of my new house if I get a new house like, if it's the one that we're looking at or whichever one it ends up being, I will only be showing you guys the inside just for my safety, personally. <laughs> um, new folks to hang around, but God, if you need anything chatty chat, let me know, Mom <laughs> Mama. You calling me Mama is so funny, Dookie Doo. Like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. But that, I guess that only works on YouTube. Hey, Hannah, I just got out of a movie. Congratulations on the moving. Thank you so much, Toby Wan. What movie did you watch? Did you guys watch the new Avatar? I haven't seen the new Avatar. I heard... What I heard about it is that it's kind of like a cheap... I don't know. I heard, like, one of my um, cinematography friends, like, videographer. He does, like, videographer stuff freelance. Um, I'm not super close to him, but um, he was talking about and he was like you can tell that with the new avatar they kind of just like they said f you with the story like the story and the plot isn't that great and then they just were like look at what we can do with special effects like look at all this water like the hardest thing you can possibly pull off in special effects and we're gonna make the whole thing about that and like you know like it was just a hey guys look how big my uh you know <laughs> That's what I heard, at least. I don't know. I haven't seen it myself. All right, back to just listening, but we're back because we get Chipotle. Oh, what's you guys? What's your go-to Chipotle order? I always go uh, brown. I always get a bowl with brown rice, chicken, salsa verde, cheese, sour cream, guacamole, lettuce. I don't get beans usually, um, and then sometimes I'll also get queso if I'm feeling a little, a little bit like a. a fatty that day you know what I'm saying um I don't know what to put in chat so I don't think I'm gonna really chat this much this stream it's okay evil toast I'm glad you're here um 
<laughs> this is where y'all at. Hi, Hobie. Bing, 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 bing. Perp, I miss you so much. Oh, goodness, right. It's like it's only, it's temporary. I know, it's like, in, it's like that military saying, embrace the suck. That's how it feels right now. But, like, I feel like kind of, like, a big baby, honestly. Like, I feel, I don't know, like, so much is happening and I'm so stressed and tired and, uh, but, like, like, literally my hair is falling out. Like, I was in the shower, and, like, as a girl, like, your hair sheds a little bit, but, like, it hasn't shed that much in a long time. Like, for those of you who don't know, when I was, like, two and a half to three years ago, um, for a while before then, I struggled with an eating disorder pretty bad, and when you get a bad eating disorder, your hair falls out, um, because your body is lacking a lot of nutrients, I don't struggle with it at all, at all anymore. I put on a lot of weight. I'm very happy. I love myself. I love my body. I still struggle a little bit with like body image and stuff like that, but I don't struggle with that anymore. Um, but now, like, I'm so stressed right now that the same amount of hair that I, w I was losing during that time in my life, I'm losing now. And I this might be TMI for like the guys in the chat, but the girls in the chat, they understand how crazy this is because I'm so stressed I'm eating enough I'm like working out enough like I, I've been working out here and there throughout all of this as a stress reliever I've been drinking enough water like it's been good this entire month I have not had my time of month like my period has not come at all this entire month and I don't I, I'm, I'm a I love Jesus and I'm not doing anything so like it's just like whenever a female gets so stressed like actually so stressed her body just doesn't do that because her body is just so stressed like that's where I'm at right now <laughs> my hair is falling out my like you guys can't see it it's not that bad my act but like my acne even though I'm washing my face is like kind of getting a little bad you guys can't see it because I never I, I don't really get acne at all I'm very blessed but so that means when I the little acne I, that I do get when I do get it it means like something's either really wrong with my diet or um, I'm not, or I'm stinky poopy or my, I'm just super stressed. So like all of the things that come with stress are, are happening to, to me right now. Um, but you guys are my family. Thank you. It's been like two weeks since I watched a stream. The bang must have thought I died. <laughs> I'm lying. I miss you, Elias, but that's funny. Hi, Nambi Zoots, hello. Apex L, do you guys not like Apex? I kind of liked it, it's really fast paced though. Yeah, I've lived alone for years, it's very nice. I won't be living alone, I'll be living with a housemate, but I love her very much and she'll be at school or work most of the time. So I'll have a lot of time at the house by myself. Um, and she has like a dog too, but it's a small dog um, and like, me and her are pretty close friends, so, like, she's, like, bro, her dog's name is Rose, so she's, like, bro, if Rose ever annoys you, like, just slap her a little. I, I don't, I don't care. She's a strong dog. She's a tough puppy. She'll, she'll get it. <laughs> so, so if I, if I ever, like, need to, like, yell at the dog to be quiet if she barks too much on stream or put her outside for a little bit, um, like, me and Sydney are on good terms to where that's okay. Obviously, I wouldn't, like, hurt the dog or anything like that but yeah better internet being pink we've got your back and so does god you've got homies everywhere thank you the papa beans focus on you we can wait we can wait get a place get settled oh thank you notebooks i'm guys i'm trying i'm gonna scroll i'm gonna read one more Thing, and I'm going to scroll all the way up to the newer messages. I was just reading and felt like I should share the Savior desires, your healing and happiness. He loves you. He weeps with you in your sorrows and rejoices to make you whole. Oh, that's really sweet. I love that. Thank you, okay, Christian. Or, yeah, oh, oh Christian. I don't know why I said okay, Christian. Thank you so much. I've, it's definitely been rough. It's definitely been rough, and I've been, I've been, needing some Jesus this week a lot. Um where'd the Minute Made apple juice go? You guys looking for the Minute Made apple juice? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Chaz, for the sub. I didn't see it. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Mwah. And I didn't go to the park at noon like I was going to. Should I go to the park now on my fedora? What time is it? If it's nighttime, probably not because it could be very unsafe unless you feel like it's a really safe place. But if it's daytime, then definitely. Also, your fedora will make you look a little sketch, but you'll also look swag AF. So the first avatar was a Dances with Wolves ripoff too. <laughs> what? I don't think I've heard that before. Your alt account got censored? You have an alt account, Anton? Gotta work everything out. And 2023 will be a blessed year. I, I believe so. I believe it will. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm scrolling up scrolling up to the newest messages. Oh my goodness. Uh, also, Lou, uh, Koniaks, I can see your messages. Uh, your notifications. Um, oh my gosh. This is the Minute Maid Appy Juice, but it's not my Appy Juice. It's Eliga's Appy Juice. Eliga and Alex work here every morning. Juice box! I think we need some slow mode here. <laughs> I think it's okay. I was trolling, I was to trolling Bukiki on Koniak's stream. Koniak's, when did you stream? I'm mad that I, I didn't get the notification. I need to turn your notifications on on my phone. I have them on on my computer, but I I still don't get the notifications on my computer so, for some reason. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you so much. Mwah. Can you just, like, text me if you go live? <laughs> yeah, Dance of the Wolves is an older movie about an American soldier in the 1800s who befriends a Native American woman and then joins her fight against the American army. Sounds familiar. Oh, wait. No, I think I did watch that a long time ago. But it was... Not recently that I watched that. Uh, your message notifications, I get them above the thing. So while I stream, if you need to message me, I'll see it. Al unless I'm looking away from my phone. I'm heading off. Good night, Ryan. Sweet dreams. Hi, Lil Reaper. Welcome in the chat. I like your blue sweater. Thank you very much. I thrifted it a long time ago. Before thrifting became too big of a popular things so now there's not that many cute things at their stores um we play in minecraft i would love to i don't have my pc set up right now <laughs> so um in the midst of all the things that i'm going through in the midst of all this chaos we're gonna get some phone streams i also alex also doesn't have good internet at this house like we brought the stuff to where i could set up my computer in another room but the internet is not that great i don't think i'll be able to stream and play games at the same time. Oh, I maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I don't know. Hi sniper dog. Um earlier today and Tuesday? What are you talking about, Intum? Are you talking to me? I'm trying to raise you up on your stream too. Oh my gosh. You went live today, Cognac, Smelly, Salty, and I dominated in Bed Wars. Bro, that sounds like a dream team. If you were only to choose one movie to keep, which one would it be? One movie? Probably like, no, I'm gonna get made fun of. <laughs> Probably like, um, Big Hero 6. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a classic, actually. I also like Bambi a lot. Or Fox and the Hound. I don't know, I like I like the, the childhood animated movies. I feel like those never get old and you could watch them a bajillion times. Even if there's like a movie that's just so brilliantly done and so beautiful and the plot is really great and the the cinematography is fantastic, even then I would prefer to watch one of the old uh the old like animated childhood movies because I feel like I could just watch those over and over again even more than like a really good movie. You can play single player games. Maybe that's true. That's a that's a good thought, Pony X. I'm good I can try. Hi Nate the Great, it's been a while. Hi, how are you? I also need to sleep, I guess. Good night guys. Good night. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Good night, Elias. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Did you skip over my important message? I didn't mean to skip over it if I did. I'm trying to read as many as I can, evil toast. 
What's your favorite movie this year? I honestly have no idea. I would say maybe... Um, that's a really good question. I think the only movie that really stuck in my mind that came out this year was Dune. Like, I know that's not, that's probably, like, a really lame answer, but it was the only movie that, like, I was excited for the, the, the upcoming movie, and I remember, like, having, still having, like, a lot of comments about it. Is it, can I not turn, can I not do that on stream if I just, is that not good? My Wi-Fi is so bad, I have to watch the stream in 180. It's not even, it's not even that, Christian. It's, it's a, uh, it's also the fact that this stream probably, like, has the worst quality ever, because it's coming from my phone. Thank you, 69. Hi, Inviso, hello. How to Train Your Dragon, that was a good one. That really was. All right, I'm gonna skip all the way to, I see you fidget with lighters. Well, it was just like sitting here on the desk. So I'm just like, I don't know. It's like, it's a fun fidget toy. I just probably wouldn't give it to my child to fidget with if I had a child. I don't have a child. But if I did, probably wouldn't give him a lighter as a fidget toy. Maybe like my teenager. Uh, no, probably not then either. Hi, Fred. Miss Popular ignore me again. I'm not, I'm not ignoring you. Not at all. That liar, lighter is so fire. You are funny, silly, goofy for that one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Coney X. Oh, thank you, Dakota, for the sub. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you guys so much. Aw. Hi, Hannah, how are you today? Um, really stressed. <laughs> if you guys go back and watch the earlier parts of the stream, like the first 20 first 10 minutes of stream you will get a recap on what this week has been like it feels like hell week it feels like like I mean it's like exciting because like oh my gosh we're planning for the future we're getting things done oh my gosh awesome I moved out of the old house and I'm going into a new one and it's so cool and pog and swag but at the same time it's also as well kind of like so hard <laughs> and so difficult and so stressful and like to be able to get work done at the same time as doing all <sighs> I just I just want to rest so bad I just want a day where I can just lay down the entire day and like maybe read on my phone a bit and just like sleep like sleep in late and like lay down and like I just want to rest so bad. <laughs> Bring a fanny pack? Bring a fanny pack aware. Nobody's going to want to kidnap me. I'm sure they would. Maybe if, maybe if you feel like nobody wants to kidnap you, then you could bring like um you could bring like a fun little Oh, like he said, you could bring a fun little fanny pack and like keep little treats in it so now people have to kidnap you so that they can have your little treats obviously once everything is done it'll feel like one long dream that's that's how it feels like right now it feels like everything's a fever dream all the time story time story time of of what you didn't read my message before i explained why nobody wants to kidnap me why well yeah, maybe i will read it this time i can't promise it though because jen is going kind of fast jail suit what do you want a story time about? I'll try my best to give it to you a little bit. I'm planning on going to the park in fedora shorts and fake Tims. Oh yeah, no, I feel like that make that gives people more of a reason to kidnap you. They're gonna interrogate you on why. Favorite memory from school? I don't have very many, cause most of my memories from school were actually really sad. <laughs> I feel like anytime I talk about my past, if I bring up my past, anything, like, before t two or three years ago f was kind of, like, a sob story. So, um, let's see. Favorite high school memory? Mm, searching my mind. Searching my mind. Uh... Probably, 
This is a really... I feel like this one's really basic, though. Like... I'm thinking. I'd be thinking. I think probably whenever... Um, I think I skipped school with my friends. I don't encourage skipping school. I was really depressed and did and did not think that school was gonna matter because I didn't think I would make it that far in life that I would care about that school would matter. Um, I was like a smart kid. Like I, like whenever I put in effort, I would get A's, straight A's. But um, I mean, it's, I feel like it's pretty easy too. It just was like I just was so sad that I didn't care so I would skip school and so I skipped school one day um with my friends and um my friend she lived she was sick or like no she was homeschooled at the time um she kept like she always had like different reasons why she wasn't at school but she was homeschooled at the time and her the school was right here and then there was like a neighborhood right here and a neighborhood way behind the school she was in the neighborhood right here so I could just walk out the side entrance of the school hop the fence walk like three streets and then I'd be at her house so I skipped school I went to her house I played she had a kitten so I played with her kitten for a little while because she got a new kitten um and she was the cutest little cat ever she was so sweet and playful and then we played video games she was one of my few friends that I ever like I never really got to play video games growing up hence why I'm kind of obsessed with them now but um <laughs> Whenever I got to play video games, it was always at her house because she had a PS4 and an Xbox One, like, right when they came out. Like, her parents spoiled the crap out of her. So, like, I just, like, got to... And I was, like, we were friends since, like, sixth grade. Um, and she was, like, one of the really... The people who, like, we just kind of connected. So, um, I would just play with her cat and then play video games and then... Um, until after school and then after school my friends got out and I texted my mom um and I was like oh hey like uh is it okay if I stay the night at my friend's house or something because it was like a Friday and she was like sure so then all of my friends came to that house and we were hanging out and like we played just dance and then we decided to go um climb a water tower um, so we all drove out and we did our, and we all climbed this big water tower, which honestly in hindsight was extremely dangerous because it was really old. Um, and then we sat on the top and we, um, and then we, and then like it got really cold. So we almost immediately climbed back down, which climbing down was almost harder than climbing up because there was nothing to look forward to. Like when you're climbing up to a water tower, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so scary and dangerous. And then um, and then we would like climb down and you're just, you're just a long time of climbing down. And then after that we played, um, I don't remember what it's called. I think it was like Dead Man or something where we would like have one or two people and like we had like three different neighborhoods be on the run and all and like and then the rest of us got to have cars and all night we like went searching through these neighborhoods to try to find our friends because we were just running away from each other and we finally caught everyone and then we were all exhausted so we went back to my friend's house and we hopped she had a hop tub like like I said this friend her parents were like spoiled her she was well off she had a hot tub in the backyard um, so we all, like, I would, I borrowed her swimsuit if somebody didn't have a swimsuit, like, they would borrow, like, shorts from her. Um, she was kind of, like, I don't know, she was, she never had a thing for me, but she was gay, or, like, kind of questioning at the time, so she dressed more ma masculine, and, um, so the guys, if they needed shorts, they would borrow them from her, but if the girls needed something, they could borrow it from her, too. Um, so she always had things for people and then we like made cookies after that and then we um, and This was old Hannah, but like we drank a lot of alcohol that night <laughs> oh. <laughs> And it was like one of the first times I got drunk ever in my life. I don't drink um, 
and like at this point in my life, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any of that. I don't find any pleasure in doing any of it. It doesn't bring me any joy. It doesn't benefit me in any way. So I don't do any of that now. Um, and also I'm Christian, so there's that too. But even beyond that, um, but at the time, it was like one of the first times I got drunk and my friends, uh, she, we, she went to her grandma's house because she knew that she could, that her grandma had a bunch of like liquor in her in her um <laughs> in her fridge but her grandma had like short term memory so her grandma wouldn't remember if she took something from the fridge and so she just like discreetly put some in her bag and like walked past her grandma and was like hey grandma bye grandma and then um drove back they drove one the that little group that went over to her house drove back here and then um we all drank like okay so like my first ever time getting drunk <laughs> we uh she had like a the, the the alcohol like she said it was liquor right like we thought we were gonna get like the good stuff or something and she brought back two like of the cheapest like champagne bottles ever <laughs> And then, like, a bunch of beers. And I hated beer. So I, just, like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get drunk off this champagne. And none of us had a tolerance at that time in our life. Like, we were all, most of us were pretty much lightweights. But I especially at the time. And, um, so, uh, <laughs> this sounds so sad. I mean, it's in my past. It's not who I am now. But, like, bro, like. So I went into, like, my friend's closet and, like, because we were trying to pop the champagne bottles without making any noise because our family was downstairs. And so we were in the closet and we were just kind of, like, none of us knew how to pop a champagne bottle. None of us knew how to do this ever. So we were just in the closet. Like, there would be, like, one of us holding it and then there would be a second one of us with, like, a, with, like, a piece of clothing wrapped around it to try to, like, make the noise better like trying to pull it and we couldn't get it to pull out and then eventually we finally got it to pull and it spilled everywhere <laughs> and then um and then after that like I think it took like through two maybe three glasses of champagne and I was just I was literally, I think there's, there was a video that was taking me, I don't think I could get my hands on it even if I wanted to, I don't really talk to a lot, any people from my past anymore, but I was rolling on the ground singing the ABCs, but like not correct, I was, I was trying my hardest to sing the ABCs, and I could not do it for the life of me, and nobody asked me to sing the ABCs, but I swear that night, like, in that moment, I, like, I genuinely believed that somebody said, like, hey, Hannah, can you, like, sing the ABCs, haha, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, and I started singing the ABCs, and they were like, why are you singing the ABCs, and I was like, what do you mean, you guys asked me to, and they were like, no, we actually didn't, you just randomly started singing the ABCs on your own for no reason at all, and so I was just, like, rolling on the floor, like, actually rolling back and forth, just singing the ABCs, because I thought somebody asked me to and no one did. That was my first experience getting drunk. Like it was so sad. Nothing funny, nothing crazy, nothing like anything in the movies. It was just me rolling on the floor singing the ABCs uh, after two glasses of champagne. <laughs> Bye, QZ. Bye. See you. See you guys later. Oh, yeah. If you guys if you guys aren't a part of the Discord, exclamation point Discord and chat, there's going to be the link. If you click that link, you can join our super awesome Discord community. There's always people in voice chat. Like, the other night, we had, like, nine people in voice chat, and, like, some of us even had our camera on, and I like to join. Like, especially when I see a lot of people in voice chat, it makes me very happy. Um, but, yeah. Dry cantaloupe. Dry cantaloupe, um, don't worry, if that was, if that is the case, if you didn't do anything wrong, um, there are, we do have mod logs that I go through at the end of every month, and I check out personally what the issue was, and then I, um, I come back, and, like, if it, if you are completely innocent, you will get unbanned, but if that's not the case, then maybe not. <laughs> 
Thank you, Kim, for the sub. Hi, Kim. Thank you so much. Mwah. I've been in voice chat for almost every single day. Every single day? I feel like I haven't seen it. I think I haven't seen you in voice chat yet, but that's usually because it's only nighttime by the time I can see it. Hi. Hi, Hannah. Happy New Year. It's been a great year for you. I hope you can top it next year. It has been a year. I'm forgetting that it's New Year's coming up. It's been a crazy year, guys. Hannah, no. He was worn multiple times. Oh, man. That's sad. I think I deserve to be banned. Why do you deserve to be banned, Darks? Hi, Kim. How are you? Hello. Hi, introvert. Hi. Hi, introvert. How are you? He was worn and then created. <laughs> okay, he's not then. Oh, man. That sucks. I spend most of my time in the music chat. That's pretty cool. Why do you like the, can I like ask what you guys like about the Discord the most? And then I can like improve on that even more. Dang, all my friends just ditched me. Ditched you for what, colder client? What happened? Cognac sleeps at weird times, so I feel like, like I can't tell him to go to sleep most of the time. Me. Sadly, when school starts again, I won't be able to join the streams. No, okay, Christian. I, I keep saying okay, Christian, so okay, Christian. What the heck? Dude, please stay on streams. What if I stream earlier or later? Maybe then? There's only two days left of 2022. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, wild. I don't know, I might be biased just a little bit. I like the logo of the Discord. <laughs> Bro, Jailsu is the only, Jailsu is uh, the reason the Discord's doing so well. It's just cause Jailsu's there. And Jailsu gang rules over the Discord. It is one of the many gangs of our Discord and Jailsu gang is the most prominent of the gangs. Um, many hide and cower and fear when the Jailsu gang comes around. Others um, appreciate the kindness that the jail suit can I don't even know where I'm going with this, to be honest. <laughs> I like how Hannah disappears and reappears out of nowhere every time. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Late night chats are the best by far. I do like late night chats. Multiple friends of 13 years declined me earlier this year, so I feel you. Or ditched me earlier this year, so I feel you. What do you mean, Dusty? That's off. I'm sorry, guys, but like... Also, that means that you just got, like, that you saved yourself some time. Like, you're not, you don't have to put any more effort in these friends who aren't good friends to you anymore. So, like, you're actually just saving yourself effort now. Okie dokie. Alright, guys. I think, I think I'm gonna go. I'm really tired. Um, I'm really sleepy. I just wanted to update you guys. I just wanted to get, let you guys know what's going on. Hi, Jill Scoot. Hi. Um, I just wanted to let you guys uh, know what has happened in my life so far. Um, reach out if you need to talk. Thank you. Um, and I want you guys to understand that, like, it, it's not that I am not trying to be here. And I really, and, like, I, like, I'm also just asking you guys. I try my best not to ask a lot of things from you guys, but if you can just please keep supporting me and not forget about me during the times that I'm not really as active, um, that would mean so much. I love you guys so much, and I am just so grateful and thankful for the life I get to live and the people I get to meet through you guys and through this community. Um, and that even though like I'm in a space right now where it's completely overwhelming and I feel like I'm completely in over my head, um, I am, I, I feel more than loved, um, and I, and I love you guys so much and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I do it again, even though it sucks, <laughs> all the, all the overwhelming stuff, but, um, Good night, guys. Sweet dreams. I love you. Mwah.
good forehead kiss. Oh, that's not where the camera is. I'm going to do it again then. Okay. Mwah. Forehead kiss. Good night.